What is going on you guys, Steven from Airsoft Tech, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Obviously, I am not doing this unboxing on the grass. I apologize. I usually do all my unboxings there. Now you guys have to look at kind of a nasty-ish silver stone or tile, whatever it is, um, you know, background or whatever, because I can't lay anything on the grass, as you guys saw in my last video, which was the Airsoft Giveaway Winner video. New grass, new plants, new trees, everything was planted. However, the grass, you cannot, you know, put anything on it. You can't smush it down. You have to, you know, let it breathe. You know, got to water it a lot for the first couple weeks or whatever. Anyways, though, this pack is coming from Fox Airsoft, so Fox, thank you so much for sending this out to me. I already know what's in here. What's in here is actually pretty damn expensive, but I'm really looking forward to opening this and getting my hands on it because I wanted one of these. I was thinking about buying one of these, um, you know, quite a while back before I even bought the KR-12, um, but I'm happy now to see if I made the right decision going with the uh, KR-12 rather than this guy in here. So. As I said, it is pretty expensive, the gun that's in here. Oh my, there's a lot of packing peanuts. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, work this out a little bit. Might have to fast forward. You know what? I'm going to fast forward right now. Oh yeah. Finally done. And the sprinklers go on. I told you we have to water them a lot. All right, so we had a little intermission there. The sprinklers decided to go on while I was taking it out of the box. Um, but anyways, so I'm pretty sure I know what this is. However, we're gonna get to this second. So I'm gonna place that right there. You guys can see the water you know, dripping down. Don't worry, nothing's gonna get wet. But anyways, yeah, it is an ICS gun. All right, sorry about cutting the clip like that again. The sprinklers went back on even though they went off. So my dad had to, I had to go inside, tell him to shut them off for a quick, you know, second for I, so I can do this video. So sorry about cutting the clip randomly like that. However, getting back to the video, this is the ICS Transform 4. And basically, this is a huge bundle package that, you know, Fox Airsoft is selling on their website for $500. In here is another upper receiver. So basically, you get one complete gun. You have... You get one upper and one lower right here. This is the SPR version, and in here is another upper, but this is a CQB upper. So you basically get two guns because this ICS gun right here has a split gearbox. So you can basically take this whole upper off. This is for outdoor use. You get higher, stronger FPS. And if you're going to a CQB field, you quickly just take out the pins, slide the upper receiver off, take the lower or take the new um, CQB upper. Put this on the lower receiver and boom, you just went from an outdoor gun to a CQB gun. So this is basically like an ICS bundle package. This is what Fox is giving it away right now. I'm not sure if that giveaway is over yet. But yeah, so this is an awesome package. It is a little pricey, $500. However, you're basically getting two guns. If you want to be picky, you're going to say, no, it's not two guns because you don't get two lower receivers. Um, but realistically, you kind of are getting two guns. You get two upper receivers. Um, but yeah, so I was debating whether or not to get this instead of the KWA KR-12. However, I ended up just going with the KR-12 because you guys already know I'm a KWA fanboy, so I ended up just going with the KR-12. But anyways, let's go ahead and take this out. I'm going to reposition, actually here, let me just unravel this real fast and then I'll position the camera and then I'll hold it so you guys can get a better view. I know you guys probably can't see too much. There are a couple BBs in here. Here is the magazine for the gun. Just put that down like this. This is another flash hider for the gun. Wow, this is all metal. This is like a brick. This is pretty heavy. Then we have like the orange, you know, just flash hider or whatever the uh, cap thing to put over the uh, end of your barrel so no BBs come flying out just in case you pull the trigger by accident let's go ahead and unravel this I'm sure watch me be completely wrong so I explain how there's uh, you know an outdoor upper the SPR and then a CQB upper and watch it not even be what I said and me be completely wrong that'd be really embarrassing but no I'm pretty sure that's what it is um, but anyways let's go come on take this up I'm gonna fast forward this all right, so let's just go ahead and unravel this. Yes, this is exactly what I said it was going to be. So yeah, this is the CQB upper right here. As you guys can see, I'm gonna get this closer to the camera. Hopefully this will focus in. Yeah, look at that. That is the split gearbox. Look at that right there. So yeah, that split gearbox design from ICS. You guys are doing it right. This thing is absolutely amazing. So you get the CQB upper, and then you get the outdoor up or the SPR and the CQB. So again, $500 for this bundle package, or you can just buy the gun separately. You can get this separately, just how it is, or you can get the CQB version and it'll basically look like that instead of what this looks like. Um, and you'll be, you'll be getting basically, as I said, lower FPS. This is for CQB fields, stronger FPS, better range probably. Uh, but yeah, so very, very nice design they have here and man this is actually pretty damn heavy and I believe these are more fuses I didn't even go over this but I think they give you two more fuses if I'm completely wrong I am so sorry I'll correct myself on the screen right now but I believe that's what it is so this is it you guys this thing 
looks absolutely amazing. It feels so high quality. You are paying quite a bit. The mag goes in really nice. I just, I don't know. I'm rethinking if I got the right gun between the KWA Care 12 and this bad boy. The stock feels absolutely amazing here. Can you, oh my goodness. Wow. This thing feels really nice. And this, I'm sure, is where the battery goes. Yep. Here it is. So yeah, that thing I was calling a fuse definitely is a fuse. If you look right in there, if my camera focuses, I'm doubt it, I doubt it will. But yeah, the, that little green cap right there, that is the little fuse thing that I showed you guys. So yeah, this thing has a ton of battery space. More than I think the uh, KR-12 does, but... Anyways, go ahead and put the butt plate back on. So yeah, damn, this thing feels so nice. And what I do like more than my KR-12 is the, uh, the motor grip right here. This stock motor grip is just beautiful. It feels so nice in the hand. And these, I believe, are pop-up sights. How do I do these? I'm not even sure. Uh, yeah, these are definitely pop-up. I'm not sure how you do it, though. Oh, okay. Just like that. Oh, yeah, okay. So you just pull these tabs right here. Ready? Boop. Just like so. And I'm sure the same thing on the front. Yep, just like so. Sorry if that was out of focus, but yeah, key mod rail system. We have some little rail segments that are already mounted on the side of the gun, underneath the gun, and then this side of the gun, right like that. Again, sorry if any of this is out of focus, but damn, this thing is really nice. Um, honestly, I can't wait to test fire this. Actually, you know what? No, screw that. I'm gonna go ahead and get a battery. I just got a new LiPo. I just bought it from Fox. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go get that LiPo really quickly. And um, I'm gonna see how this thing, how you know, snappy the trigger response is, you know, how it looks, how it feels when it shoots, and I'm, I'm just gonna bury, I'm basically gonna compare it to my Kara 12 to see if I went with the, uh, if I made the right decision. Okay, here we go. Lipo battery in here. Um, again, it's probably like half charged. It's not really charged at all. I can't remember the last time I charged it. I hope it's not almost dead. Um, and I got point twenties. Flip it to semi, and let's see how this thing shoots. I'm curious to see how this thing. Ooh, those flip up sights are real nice. Ooh. Um, I'm curious to see how this compares to my KR-12. Here we go, first shot. All right, so I literally just filmed a segment of me shooting the gun, so now I know how it shoots, I like it. Um, the battery, again, isn't fully charged. However, I was literally filming like that. That's not gonna do anything, so I have to redo it. Here we go, though, it's on semi, so you guys can see. Is that good for you guys? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, let's see how it goes. And it's electric blowback, which I didn't know. Here, I'm gonna try and get a close-up for you guys, ready? So that is semi. Again, this is not a fully charged LiPo battery. Um, with 11.1 .1 fully charged, like you charge it up the night before, you go take it on the field. I can only imagine how much better the trigger response is, because right now it's still really good. I think the electric blowback is pretty is a pretty nice feature. Now let's go to full auto. I actually have not done the full auto yet. I've only done the semi. So let's go ahead. First time I'm doing this, make sure it's in the camera frame. Uh, I think that is good enough. Here we go. Ready? Wow. Ready? That thing is actually insane. Listen, ready? Did you hear that? That's when you put it back to save. Um, you know how gears can be half cocked in between shots or whatever? So when you put it back to save, it resets everything. So the gears spin back, so it's completely fresh when you go and you know put it on you know semi again when you take it out of save. Um, so there's not a lot of you know tension on the gear. So that is a really nice feature that I think KWA should really you know incorporate into their guns because that is just a really neat feature. I've never held a gun that actually does that. Hold on, there was a helicopter going overhead. So let me just give you guys a close-up of the gun because I have yet to do that, and the stock is absolutely beautiful so there it is there's the stock and you adjust it by pushing this in like that I'm just gonna leave it all the way extended going all the way back there are the trademarks come on get my camera to focus there we go the motor grip is absolutely phenomenal that's way better than the KWA one um, there is the magazine that little see-through window is actually you can see your BBs there to see how you know how much your mag actually has left there's the fire selector switch we got some trademarks right there ICS and then just some more trademarks up there um, and then we have the charging handle, which I haven't even talked about, which is really nice. Look at these extended wings on it. Uh, you know, usually on guns, it's just that little thing, but these have wings that extend like pretty damn far out that I've never seen before um, on any gun. Well, I've never held a gun that has them. But I'm going to put the dust cover back up, and then I'm going to pull these just like so. Ready? And boop. Just like that. And your hop-up is obviously in there as well if my camera wants to focus. There we go. Yeah, that little black dial hop-up. Pretty simple. Every gun has it, um, but yeah, so overall, and then I guess I can show you, you know, get a close-up of the key mod rail system, I haven't done that yet, 
um, if my camera wants to focus on face tracking, but there we go. Um, yeah, so it is, it's a really nice gun, you guys. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, I absolutely love this gun. I love how it's full metal, love the rail system, love the front and rear iron sights. I love the charging handle. The motor grip is absolutely phenomenal. This is an upgraded stock that you get on this gun. Um, if you were to buy just the stock um, ICS Transform 4, um, you get a different stock. This one is a lot nicer um, because you're getting this bundle package thing. And I haven't even thrown on the CQB upper yet. So, but don't worry, I'm gonna be messing around with this thing. I just wanna quickly give you guys, you know, a look of the gun in action just with, you know, this upper receiver, the uh, outdoor, the uh, SPR upper receiver on it. So, um, but yeah, so I'm curious to see what this thing will really look like with the CQB upper, how it performs, the FPS changes, um, because that's supposed to be for indoors, this is for outdoors. Um, but yeah, so overall, I'm really liking this gun and the electric blowback feature is just another pro not to mention which i said kwa should really start doing is when you put the gun back to safe it resets everything so there's not a lot of tension on the gear so that is a very very nice feature good job ics i really like that but anyways so yeah i don't want to get too much into a review i've been talking for far too long now so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it and if you're new go ahead and click the subscribe button down below i can't wait to mess with that CQB upper and seeing how they change between the two of them um, or how the gun changes, you know, in terms of performance. But yeah, so anyways, are you guys, if you're interested in purchasing this gun, this bundle package, um, the link will be in the description. It retails for $500. You basically get two guns. Um, but yeah, so Fox Airsoft, before I wrap up this video, thank you once again for sending this out to me. You guys are always awesome for hooking me up. But with all that being said, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Ooh, beautiful. Ready? Oh yeah.